Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio with Science Buddies, and in this video we'll show you how to build an altitude control circuit for our DIY mini drone project. The previous video in this series, which you can find linked in the description below this one, shows you how to build one of these miniature drones. This is a simple project designed to introduce you to the world of drones and how they work. The basic build has no ability to steer, so requires a guide pole to fly straight. The motors always spin at full speed, so the drone cannot hover or easily control its altitude. In this project, you'll build a simple circuit that lets you turn a knob to control the speed of the drone's motors. This will let you control its altitude. The circuit has two main parts. A transistor, which controls the amount of current flowing through the drone's motors, and a potentiometer, which allows you to turn a knob to adjust the signal to the transistor. You can think of these parts like turning the valve on the faucet for a garden hose to adjust the amount of water flow. You can find a circuit diagram and the parts you need to build this circuit in the link in the description below this video. For this project, we also recommend some improvements to your drone's guide pole. Two guide poles, threaded through two straws glued to the drone's frame, will prevent the drone from spinning. A piece of foam added to the bottom will also add some cushioning for any crash landings and prevent parts of the drone from breaking off. Once you've built the circuit, you can turn the knob and use it to control your drone's altitude. You can make the drone hover in place, or make it move up and down. You can find detailed written instructions for this project linked in the description below this video. Check out the next video in this series to learn how you can use an Arduino and an ultrasonic distance sensor to automatically control the drone's height. For more drone science projects and thousands of other science and engineering projects, visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.